Welcome everyone to my art studio. Today we will be working on an ocean scene with dramatic clouds. We will be using this reference photo I found on a site called Paint My Photo. People upload their photos and artists can use them for free as a reference without any copyright infringement. So it's a great site. Using a sanded pastel paper, it's by New Art. It's a 600 grit paper that holds several layers of color. I'll also be using a small palette of colors, uh, mostly blues and greens and grays to create my sky and water. We will be applying an underpainting wash to the surface of the paper to create a solid foundation to paint over with our pastels. So you ask, what is an underpainting? I will show you how I create one in this video next, but in short, it sets a tonal value to the surface of the paper. I block in the areas with my pastel and then brush the <clears throat> rubbing alcohol over the areas to dissolve the powdery uh, pigment of the pastels. <clears throat> it then has a watercolor effect as it dries and it dries much faster than using water. I use a 70 or 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. You can buy it at most locations and drugstores. So, let's get started with our painting. I kept my paper uh, around all the borders with a painter's paint um, tape that that won't stick uh, too strongly so that when my painting is done I can remove it without any worry of tearing my paper. Here I've drawn in a, a horizon line and, and I did use a ruler to ensure that I had a straight line. I, I placed my horizon line slightly above the center of my paper not exactly following the rules of thirds, but I wanted to emphasize the sky and water area as much as possible. I am applying um, my pastel color values to my paper, and I especially want to focus on the darker values because we want to add lighter colors over the darker ones as we go. Once I have the entire paper covered um, with my uh, pastel values, um, I will be applying an alcohol wash um, called an underpainting. You can use any uh, isotopal rubbing alcohol that you can find in any local store or drug store. There are some that are 70% uh, and 90% alcohol um, and either one of those will, will work just fine. The advantage of using it is that it dries very fast compared to using um, just water. I can usually start a painting um, over my underpainting in in five minutes or so. The uh, underpainting will create a solid foundation to apply my soft pastels to. I only used four or five uh, pastel colors to create my underpainting. And I've used the darkest value uh, at the horizon line to create uh, greater depth in my painting. Once I've completed uh, the underpainting, uh, I'll allow it to dry about five minutes before uh, I can start adding uh, more pastel values. 
I usually start painting from the top of the sheet and work my way down. So I'm going to render these clouds in shades of grays and blues, which I feel will bring out the depth of the sky at the horizon. I love the dramatic clouds and I plan to build the layers to enhance the sky. So for now, I will stop the dialogue and speed up this painting for you to enjoy and watch.
I hope you enjoyed this week's painting on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that below. And I would love to see your comments and likes as well. You can also visit my website at RitaGinsberg.com that features this piece and more of my work. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you.